Chalons. Gaul, 451 AD. Attila the Hun, the scourge of God, and his rampaging horde ride to battle once more. A burning swathe of destruction and misery is left in Attila's wake. Ahead lies the soft heartland of the Western Roman Empire, ripe for plunder. The whole of Western Europe is at his mercy. But the last true Roman and defender of Roman civilization bars Attila's path. Flavius Aetius commands a formidable Roman force. A host of heavy cavalry prepares to strike hard. While heavy infantry provides the backbone to his army. And carriage ballistae prepare to strike from distance. Rome's Visigothic allies, commanded by King Theoderic, stand ready to join battle. Attila is expert in the ways of war. He knows the value of high ground to an army. Every wood is a place from which to release his hidden troops in ambush. The storm crows circle overhead. The hour has come. Welcome everyone to take one of this War on Sunday battle. And I've got to say, when I first checked this army, I just thought, oh god, it's going to be a repeat of Attila Total War. Well, <laughs> in order to avoid that, let's go ahead, let's chuck these guys into the woods. Might as well, see what, see what happens over there. And this flank is a little bit mixed. We're going to go grab that hill. I think, to be honest with you, I actually want to get the infantry up here. Taking a hill of infantry is going to be pretty helpful. And we're going to keep our general... I think we'll actually probably move our general. But we're going to keep one lump of cavalry altogether. Right. Game is on. What will these, these Visigoths do? And we have Western Roman Empire themselves. Now, they have a really good mix of units. And actually, a lot of types of units I personally rather be using. Uh, let's just get them all running into place. Looks like we're gonna have to engage these mercenary horse archers. At least if we're in the woods it's gonna be harder for them to hit us if nothing else. Although they don't seem to want to get hidden. Hide? You as well. There you go. Right I got some good shots coming in. Peppering the back. I'm gonna go smash those priests. Uh, <laughs> just casually smashing priests. Excellent. Alright, let's go claim this hill with our general. Ah, oh, they went back and protected the priests. Why? Why protect the priests? What's that? Carriage balliste? I mean, I'm intrigued. Let's go find out what they can do. And what's the better way to find out than sending cavalry at it? Right, charge. Oh my days. They hit hard. I think we're gonna have to spread you guys out. Ooh, not quite yet, but they are making it in. Right, big charge. Come on, guys. You can see them just getting minced one after the other. Don't have anything good to do with our, our infantry, unfortunately. Um, they're not going to catch. Right, ignore it. Moving on. Attack the Lord. Run, run, run. If you're going to get hit by a side charge, you're out. Okay, done with them. Turns out they're a lot faster than I thought they would be. Perfectly fair enough. Children's. Beautiful. Nice flank. Gonna spread these guys out. I'm gonna get them firing away. You guys doing much the same. Come on over. Just get peppering the enemy. We have broken some of this, uh, which is really good that we can just get them down. Run. 
Yep. You're doing good. Beautiful. Right. All of that is sorted. Looks like we can get this cav now. Charging into the back on this general. All of it. Everything in. What are these? No. They're spears. Not a chance. We don't want that. Right, general, go prove yourself worthy. <laughs> they obliterated our infantry. Oh my days, that was worthless. What the hell? You guys suck. Right, in that case, it is, uh, it's all down to the cav. I can't see them doing particularly amazing. Can get a charge off from you? I mean, yeah, that, that was absolutely god-awful. Right, you attack there. You come over here. Just got to get our... Yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure what's happening with our infantry there. Let's just rely on good old-fashioned cavalry for the rest of this. Yeah, we managed to break all of them. That is beautiful. Moving on. <laughs> Taking on their heavy cav. And their general, our general taking quite a bit of a beating. Uh, most of our cab actually is disintegrated now I'm looking at it. I'm getting the back of these guys. Nice. Enemy general ransacked. What are these? Chalets. Right, all of you, come on over here. If you're still alive, you can run. Yep. Anyone who's alive, just come on over. What we're going to do is just start working on this. Uh, charging into the enemy. Trying to get rid of as much of their cavalry as we can. Because, yeah, there's... Our infantry is god-awful. I think to deal with this, we are going to send everyone. But really what we want is for uh, our archers to be firing on them. So I'm going to grab actual units to go take on their cav. You, don't worry about it. Just get charging after them. Yeah. Ooh. Dirty. Right, get rid of all the bad stuff. Okay. So this is just our ranged units now. Plowing <laughs> thumb. Oh my days. Go smash those priests. Oh yeah, cavalry is the way forward, people. Get out of there. Get in there. Um, we need to be a little bit better at how we attack them. Just because... Yeah, there's, a, there's an enemy general. These are speared units. So we see if we can get our infantry hitting them, and that gives us openings for a rear charge then. Right, come on, just smash this gothic warlord. What are you playing at? General... Child. Excellent. Now attack and break the will of his followers. Alright, that's a big old children to be firing on. Let's get you guys running away. 13 left for our general. It's enough. It's all you need. Right, looks like this one's started to split. Now these are Kamita Tensis. I thought they were spears. We've managed to punch a hole through them. Yep, there we go. Uh, Shiltrum is holding. Darn it. Where are you? When you come over here, join our big blob of calf. All of them are set and ready to go. Yep, just firing away at a Shiltrum. There isn't really much else they can do. God, this has definitely turned into how I play Attila. Like, doing the, the White Hung campaign for Attila is basically just set up and try and find a way to tempt units into unfavorable engagements. Yeah, we need to go break them, so we need to charge through. You, get out of the way. Go and get stuck in. Just try and break these up, the last ones. Charge through them. Excellent. Right, give us a rear charge. Ooh, side charge. Ooh. 
What we got left? A few units of Limitane. Uh, ooh, Golden Band. Touche, touche. What are these? Mitatensis and Federati Infantry. Okay. So that's the case. Let's go set up to take on the Limitane and just... Yeah, you guys go mental. I think actually we are just going to surround them as well. Although that doesn't mean run into them, you idiots. That means surround. Ugh, let's go chase them. Alright, there we go. Now let's set up for the next unit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> These guys have terrible infantry. But our cavalry is insane. And eventually we're going to wear this one down. This is going to be the hardest one to deal with. Just because it has that Shultrum formation. And I don't know how much more ammunition we have left for this. It probably ain't a whole lot. Let's get them running because we need to get into place. Holy smokes. Let's get you out of the way. Let's not get stuck on the Shultrum again. That would be bad. All right, everyone charging in to these mercenary golden band, apart from the general. Not the general. Okay, maybe the general. <laughs> All right, let's go smash what remains of the committed tenses just broke. It is just this one unit. All right, you guys firing away. Hopefully, we have the ammunition to deal with it. I think on that note, let's speed this up. As our glorious cavalry deals with the last of them. And we'll start doing some sandwich charges against them. Um, oh my days, we're going to run out of ammunition. Okay, yeah, we got a tiny bit of ammunition left. Down to 41, sustaining casualties. Just pucker off. Excellent! Oh, they finally ran. Oh, that was not a climactic ending. That was just waiting for them to break. Nice. Right, who is left? It looks like someone must be because the game hasn't ended yet. Ooh. Uh, who's still on the field? So we have someone who's willing to give it a go. Go on. Uh, we're definitely going to chase them down. You know what? You guys stop your fire at will. Let's speed this up. Because I can see there's one unit turned around. But that's it. I think we're done. Marvellous. Go on. Very good job we took care of them. Because that, that would have been hell to deal with. Uh, can't get them to charge over at the general. That's fine. What is this unit? What are you? Tell us your secrets. Alright, you can fire at Wilkes. You'll probably see them before I do. Oh, there they are. What is this? Ah, it's the Federatis. Alright, let's pull back outside of the woods. Gives us a better chance of seeing them and getting ready for that charge. There's 55 of them. It's uh, not a tiny unit. That is the last one. By the time they get here, I reckon their morale's gonna break them. What's the bet? <laughs> right, set up. Nice little sandwich. Uh, keep the general out of it. Don't want to lose at the very end by losing the general. <laughs> they just broke showing up to us right well. First time does the charm. Little things to note, you cannot catch up to those chariots, uh, scorpion, trebuchet things. Yeah, you, you just, you have to wait and then catch them off guard. Probably use the woods for that as the best method. Second up, your infantry sucks. Prepare to lose them. 
and just rely on cavalry. Who knew? Playing as the Huns, you should rely on your cav. Well, that'll do for now. The end of Rome, the end of an era, as we advance towards Medieval 2. Now, I'm led to believe that predominantly those historical battles are going to be battles we've already done, but updated into the new game. I'm cool with that. There are some really good battles from Medieval Total War, and I'm more than happy to have Tan could go on Medieval 2. But that said, I'm hoping there'll be a few new things thrown in. Either way, until then, lords and ladies, as always, peace out.